Hello everybody and welcome back to some Morphine Foley. Yo, we're jumping in again. We're on a three streak at the minute. It is the highest streak we've ever darn had. Let's randomize our character and see what we might get. Uh, I'm going to go for a modded character this time. Do, 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 do. Who shall you give me? Icarus. We haven't played Icarus in a little bit of time, so let's go as Icarus. Where are you, my Icarus fella? I'm still a character that I have to admit I'm still a little foggy on about how to play properly. Also... This keeps coming up, and I don't know why. I've taken many moments to read this message. Um, I am fine without it. I keep doing this just to make sure the unlocks are actually there. But yeah, we can sacrifice some HP to this to get our wings back or to, like, pad out our wings. The best thing about this character, really, is the um, ability to... I think it's, like, return projectiles to enemies. I can't remember exactly with the active item. Also, you start off with pretty good damage too, which is really nice. I think that's only while you have the wings though. Once you get hit, you then lose the wings and uh, you get returned to the starting room, which you can kind of use on purpose for a few cool things here and there, but I'm not going to do that right now. I think I want to try and keep the flight and keep this guy going, especially with the high damage. Ooh, and a soul heart to protect us early on is really nice. Honestly, we are just trashing through this floor right now. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome indeed. Um, right. Take care of you. Oh, balls. <laughs> there you go. Unfortunately, we lost the uh, the damage now. I, I don't know why, but I just kind of didn't really... I didn't really register that that um, fly hadn't died and just kind of walked directly into it. My bad, I guess. So we do have to uh, now do the rest of the floor with no flight and a little bit lower damage, just stats in general. But we can get it back pretty easily. We can sacrifice some HP to get it back on the floor if we want. But honestly, this late into the floor, I think I'm going to be fine just, just playing the rest of the floor out as normal. Oh, God, that fly's getting a little bit crazy. Whoa, <laughs> this spider's, like, stuck on top of that pot. What the hell? Get off of there. You're not meant to be up there, you cheeky bastard. Whoa, uh, also, I forgot about this as well. Enemies have that chance to upgrade themselves, too. Sack of Pennies honestly really isn't that bad this early on. Um, I think normally Sack of Pennies wouldn't really be something that I'd be that interested in getting. But getting it this early on makes it significantly more useful. Because we should be able to get a good amount of money for the shops later on from this. Right. Grab both of those. There's the two pennies, lovely. And we'll just go and kill you. Uh, as for the question of the day today, um... When is... We're playing as Icarus, so... Uh, when is the last time you flew too close to the sun? When's the last time you got burnt by, uh... Not quitting while you were ahead? It happens to plenty of people. Um, mainly with money. <laughs> Gambling especially. Um, but I've, as I've said before, I do very, very little, if any, gambling in real life. Because, um, I can't trust myself. Main, for two... Actually, three reasons. Mainly two, though. One is I gamble a lot in games and I absolutely love it and I can't stop myself, which makes me think I have pretty bad tendencies in terms of gambling and I'd probably ruin my life. But also, I know that my dad and granddad both used to gamble. Um, my dad still does a bit, but... Um, and my dad has said multiple times that if he had the money to do it, he would just gamble his life away. <laughs> which is fair enough. Um, but anyway, so we've got this light meter as well that we've got to pay attention to. I really like this... Uh, this mark thing we got going on here it looks really nice i wish more characters had that got a harlot heart here that we can't pick up unfortunately um i've only got one key so i'm gonna go down to the normal floor um but yes i think that would definitely be something that i'd i ought to stay away from for for a considerable amount of time a very considerable amount of time maybe if i get rich and i want to burn some of it on just having some fun then it could be something interesting to do but otherwise not not the greatest idea um, that's actually pretty decent. Extra damage against bosses. I realized we had a reroll machine here. We could have maybe got something a bit better. But honestly, a 30% damage upgrade against bosses. There's enough bosses in this game. And I think mini bosses do count. So anything with a boss bar, I think, counts. That's pretty decent. I'm trying to think of actual moments where I flew a bit too close to the sun, though. Um, hmm... Ooh, that was a very good pot there. Thank you. I can't think of any proper specifics, really. Um, but it's more about, like I said, with the um, 
the question of the day. I, I like to hear from you guys, see what you guys have to say. So this, th these enemies will be really good for this. Yeah, there you go. So we can just fire back the Herming. This active is honestly so damn good. I really like the fact that this character properly promotes, like, not getting hit. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> Three random bomb pickups. Gives me literally the worst. I, I knew I was going to get hit there. I just kind of accepted that fact. Give me literally the worst bomb pickups you can possibly give a man. Thanks for that. Okay, the little dudes are really, really annoying with this guy. Again, this is a pretty easy enemy because as soon as he fires, we just do that and does a good amount of damage to him. Beautiful. Ooh, Blind Rage. Blind Rage is actually a trinket that I really, 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 really like. It just doesn't show up very often. This is a really hard room with this champion. Okay. Didn't quite hit the mark with the pot there. It's kind of weird the way that the herming reflected, like reversed the projectile trajectory of that guy. That's kind of cool. Like, watch this. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the way it does that. That's really funny. Copper bomb there, we'll take it, why not? Not a particular fan of taking copper bombs, but... Not too bad of an idea right now. I don't know what this enemy does, I can't remember. There's a lot of enemies in Fiendfolio that I honestly just can't remember what they do. We spread some teeth about, this guy's firing some pots at us. I think we can destroy the teeth to, um... Get rid of the creep pool. Gotta be a little careful for him when they slam down the... Oh, bad hit. He did full heart damage as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But at the minute, I've just been... Uh, I think I've spoken about it before at work. I've been kind of introducing the new guy starts... Um, we hired a new guy and he starts uh, on the first of the of the new year. Um, so I've just been kind of introducing him to the company and everything. And it's been it's been really nice, actually. Um, we hired someone that's like, he's, he's a little bit older than me, but not not by much. And it's just really nice to work with someone that's like, he's quite similar minded to me. Um, we seem to have share a lot of the same interests and stuff. So I'm really glad we hired someone that I get on with so well. Um, me and him are going to be working quite closely on most things. So it's good that it's someone that um, I'm able to work with pretty easily. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for him to start. Even though it's just been kind of introductory stuff over the course of December, and it probably will be for the next few days. Um, it's nice to have that connection with someone early on and um, we are going to be doing a lot more work together in january obviously when he properly starts but for now it's just a little bit here and there we've been doing a lot of this um hotel stuff that i i mentioned before i'm not going to go into, into into any specifics but um we've been working alongside um a hotel to provide some streaming and stuff like that um and it's it's going pretty well we're, we're, we're gonna go um oh, really i lost my devil dealer this is ridiculous this is so many enemies I need to kill this dude before he spawns more. What the fuck? That was so many enemies to deal with. What the hell? And you just keep spawning more and they keep getting upgraded. Dude! Chill your ass, please. What? Taking a beating from this guy. Damn it, I, I used the bucket too early. Binky's pretty nice here, though. I'm going to go back and quickly check out our shop, just because I have quite a lot of money now. And a good amount of keys, too. Health isn't too bad now after that. I like the way you have these little wooden weird wings. If only we had a good use for those golden bombs. Restock! Not bad at all. We'll take it. It's likely not going to be super useful, but I might be able to get something out of it um, when it comes to soul hearts. Do you know what? Golden bombs would actually be really good if you could push them through doors. If you could push them through doors and use them to navigate around the floor and blow stuff up, I actually think they'd, they'd get, like, a lot more love. I realize they're meant to be a nuisance, but it would be kind of cool to have, um, have the ability to, uh, get a bit more out of them here and there. Do, do, do. I'm pretty sure that's a, beat, a thingy there. I'll try it. It is good. We'll take the other air was. I like the way that that room was designed with the pure intent of opening up that floor bit. Um, oh, I have flight. I forgot about that. With the pure intent of you just opening up that little floor bit. But um, 
because of the changes to how AWOLs works and we need to go deeper, it kind of screwed with, uh, with the logic of that room. And now it's actually super disadvantaged to uh, use it on the floor patches to get the chest. It's actually way better to get two free crawl spaces out of it. I find that really funny. It's just how it goes sometimes, though, when you went with buffs and nerfs. It might be that um, some of the rooms like that need uh, tweaking or patching to just make them a little more uh, in line with what they should be. Okay, I don't lose my wings for that. I was pretty sure I didn't, but I was also a little scared that I still would. Careful of these guys. Honestly, with the damage we have right now, I'm super happy, so I'm really hoping we don't get hit. Like I said, I love the fact that this character really promotes trying to not get hit. <clears throat> that was quick. Just insta-died there. And honestly, as well, I was saying about how um, Sack of Pennies is going to do a really good job, and it has been. It really has been very, very useful here. I ought to check this out just because we have restock. Soul Heart. Soul Heart. Lovely. That's that's really the big, for me, the big use case of new restock. Old restock was just good all around, but new restock with the scaling prices, it just, it at least makes um, soul hearts more plentiful in shops, because I don't mind spending it like five, then seven, then nine, whatever it is for the soul hearts, because I think they're worth it. I think nine cent for a soul heart, especially when you're in need of one, is still a very, very good value proposition, so I don't really mind that. Some enemies getting upgraded here. I keep forgetting about the enemy upgrade system that this guy, this character has. I think it's a, a really good way to, like, add a bit of depth to this character. It's like a, a little addition that doesn't need to be there, but it's it's cool that it is. Honestly, having a really hard time with this guy. Didn't it rock there? I see you, I see you. Pop a bomb, unfortunately. Hey, we got one of the um, thingy hearts that gives us a bit more... What?! What in the... What in the shit was that? I walked in and just instantly got shot at. I call BS on that. I call fat BS on that. I am. An upsetty spaghetti. Um, expe oh, especially considering... Okay, that was a very good experimental tre treatment. Especially considering flight would have been so good here. In fact, let's see what you get from this. Yeah, not really what I wanted. I think it's worth it for the spin down. I do lose the air was the balls. It's fine. I'd rather keep the spin down, I'll be honest. Probably gonna gonna wanna hold on to the spin down into the next floor anyways. It's unlikely I'll use it this floor. Get away from me, crab. You goddamn crab. There's a, there's this, like, a scene in a TV show called Derek in the UK, and it's a show that I've literally seen, like, two or three episodes of. It's a Ricky Gervais show. Basically, it's about him being, like, a, a pensioner in an old folks home and getting into antics and stuff. It's pretty funny, um, but I've not really watched much of it. But there's one scene that I remember from it really vividly, um, where they have, like, a little trip to the beach, and he brings, like, some Tipex, you know, like, that white stuff that you used to, um... To, to write over words on white paper to, like, the correction thing. It's called Tipex in the UK. I don't know what it's called in America. It might be the same name. I have no idea. Uh, but anyways, there's this scene where he gets, um... He, he brings, like, this Tipex to, to the beach, and he picks up a crab, and he writes twat on it. <laughs> and he just then, like, sets it on its way. I just find that so hilarious. Just, like, someone just out there, like, on the beach on another day or whatever, or later in that day, and they just... Stumble across a crab that's got twat written on the back of it. Like, you must take that personally. I think even a, even a crab calls you a twat. Oh, dude, I am taking a beating from these guys. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Oh, God. I really am not a big fan of this guy as a boss. He's very tricky. Co the coming down mod definitely makes him a little easier. But I wouldn't say, like, a ton. Just a little bit. Okay, we got him. That's a pretty good item, actually. We don't need to use spin down on that. I, I'm going to check this just in case spin down's good. Uh, burn spares and... Okay, both of those are pretty bad. I'll take this, though. And let's get the hell out of here. I definitely want to keep my spin down on me for now. 
I love the fact that spin down shards exist. Again, I, I say it all the time. I've said it so many times before, but I still have to reiterate. I really like it when mod developers take niche game design and give you more ways to utilize it. I feel like that's a really, 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 really good way to keep things feeling vanilla, keep things feeling normal. Um, and not too out there, but also introducing something that feels a little new because it's maybe a mechanic that you don't get to use as much as you'd like to, which is exactly the, the case with spin down. There is literally only one way in the base game to access spinning things down, which is a shame because it's a really, really, really cool idea. The spin down dice is just in general in terms of the idea of the item. One of the cooler items that got added in Repentance, honestly. It's such a... It's, it's just... It's such a basic idea that's so interesting. The fact that it's like a... A reroll that... Well, there you go. Look at that. We just got Magic Mush. I don't know what hit me there, but hey her. I got Magic Mush. I don't care. Um, It's such a cool way to have, like, a scheduled sort of predictable way to get specific items but via certain interactions. I think it's such an interesting concept, um, and it's something that I definitely wouldn't have thought of if Edmund hadn't have come up with it and added it to the game, so I'm really, really happy about it. I don't know who thought of it. I don't know if it was Kilburn or Edmund that, that had the idea. I feel like it's more of a Kilburn idea, to be honest, but I don't really know who uh, came up with the majority of the actual ideas behind Repentance. Obviously, I know that Kilburn made it and Kilburn did all the implementation, but I don't know how much of that was his idea, because obviously, Repentance is based off of Anti-Birth, which is essentially Kilburn's baby for the most part, him and his team at least. Um, so I'm guessing he got a lot of cr like creative input on the Anti-Birth side of things, but I have no idea how much of the... Um, no idea how much of the other side of things in terms of like the new additions, repentance-wise, that he actually had input on. Um, again, we'll buy a Soul Heart and another one. Try and find our item room here real quick. But yeah, the fact that we just got the spin down into Magic Mush. I always forget that Virus is Magic Mush. Super, super good. One of the best, one of the better spin downs. I think Consolation Prize is really, really good. Um, I'm trying to think of all the best ones. So Blood Bag is spin down, spins down into Brimstone. Uh, Jar of Air is really nice here. Yeah, Blood Bag spins down into um, Brimstone. That's really good. Um... Toothpicks spins down into Sacred Heart. Consolation Prize spins down into Revelation. And, um... Robofly, whatever it's called, um, spins down into Death Certificate. Those are the, those are the key ones that I know. Those are the ones that I remember. And obviously the virus into Magic Mush there as well now. Yeah, we've got enough health to take this. Why not? I'm not going to go for the quarter, though. Although, actually, with restock, the quarter might have been a good idea. Maybe that was a mistake to leave that behind. It is as it is. I don't think we really want to be spending extra health on preserving our flight until we lose it sort of thing. We got everything yet? Okay, no, there's another bomb... Bomb wiggly boy. Gobby's eye is actually pretty darn good when it's working. Sometimes it doesn't work, but when it is working, pretty darn good. Jar of air here as well. Super, super good. Giving you three poison flies. Uh, permanent locus, should I say. Damn good. Damn fine, damn good, damn good, fine. Damn good. I need to be using my active more as well. I've not really been using it. Why not? Give us an extra penny, hell yeah. We've not really get, been getting that many things that shoot us, to be honest, though, have we? Save this for my item room. Curse of Famine here, that's fine. I didn't realize what curse we had for a second. Extra bomb, ugh. I was just about to say a really annoying room, but luckily it kind of dealt with itself. This is only Necro once, so we can go straight for the boss. Ooh, this is Herming Loki. Herming Loki is tricky. Gotta keep your distance. From Fiendfolio, one of the hardest versions of champion bosses. The health, obviously, is still pretty low, so if we have the damage, it doesn't matter too much. 
But in general, oh, we got uh, enough money now. Alabaster box. Mm, I'm actually pretty tempted by that, but I really like how active we got now. So let's just take Poke Gear. Poke Gear is actually really good. Although I will say that Vizzy's got nerfed a little bit, like friendly Vizzy's having Brimstone got nerfed a little bit. So it's not quite as good as it used to be. Oh, god damn. I can feel a headache developing right now. I don't know where that came from. Kind of came out of nowhere. God damn, actives. Heck you, game. You know what? I'm just going to shortcut with my Emperor card. I really like that. That that is that that's actually one active the uh, the jar of everything that I was thoroughly disappointed with when I uh, first got. I really like the idea of it being an active where you can use it at any interval to get different stuff because it gives you access to golden stuff. It gives you access to like basically everything when you want it. But one thing I was really disappointed about is it the the effect sort of implies that um it kind of implies that once you have it at, like, uh, full charge at 12, you can get, like, hundreds of different effects. But it turns out there's basically a list of about 10 effects, and they're all kind of meh. What the hell? Do those poison things hit you? I didn't know those poison things hit you. Maybe something else hit me? I don't know. I'm losing my flight a lot recently. Let's, let's try and get it back, actually, this time around. Right. There you go. Cost us a heart, but we got our flight back. Let's not lose it in the directly next room, though, shall we? That would be pretty embarrassing. Good stuff. A pooter appears. Why, thank you. Honestly, coming down, such an incredibly useful mod. I also got another one by the same creator that adds another indicator for brimstones. Which actually is already part of, um, it's already part of the first rework mod with some enemies, but it doesn't affect enemies that haven't been reworked, whereas this affects all of them. There's so many of these ghost boys. We are speeding through the rooms here. Right, one second. Okay, let's continue speeding along here, shall we? Nice. Little Steven! Eh. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't think I'm going to go for more soul hearts, though. We've got enough health right now. Let's push on through, shall we? Uh, I think I'm going to try and do a... What, what floor are we on right now? This is Dank Depths 2. This is Mother, right? Um, I think I'm going to try and grab myself a thingy run, a beast run, because it's just been a little while. It's just been a little while. What, what do I do exactly here? Oh, I've got to kill everything else, I see. I love these little dudes. We're just looking for the uh, thingy now. Boom. The only thing about the active is, and, and a lot of actives in general in Isaac, is they stop you from shooting for a short time, which can be problematic. It's kind of sometimes better to just shoot. Ow. There it is. Cool. Yeah, it's been a little while to did Beast, and I feel like I'm neglecting it a little bit. When we start the new save file, though, we get a lot more of that. I have heard, by the way, that some people are opposed to the new save file. If there's a large enough percentage of people, I might do, like, alternating episodes where one's new save file and one's normal save file or something. I don't know. We'll see. But people you do got people that are opposed to the new save file, you do have to remember... Uh, a lot of people are opposed to it because it's less items, but you do got to remember that it's going to give us more sense of purpose. It's going to mean that we play a wider variety of characters um, in general because we're going to be going for completion marks, at least at the start. And also, it means that we're going to be seeing a larger proportion of modded items because a lot of modded items don't need to be unlocked. It's going to be interesting. Uh, and we're going to be able to do challenges and all that sort of good stuff as well. It's going to be interesting. Right, through we go. 
Through we go. I think we're pretty much set for a for a beast kill here. We got some good items. I wouldn't say we've got the best stuff in the world, to be honest. But I think we've got more than enough to make things work. That was a scary one. I think if we can get a good shot going, hopefully our item room has something half decent in it. We'll go to it on the way out, though, not the way in, because then we can see both items. Honestly, with flight and everything set up, where we have our extra damage, we're doing great stuff. 10.89 damage is great. I would like one more damage up, though, in case we do lose uh, our flight during the beast fight, because that's going to nerf our damage quite a bit. It's pretty good right now, but... If we take a lot away from that, it's going to cause some problems for us, I think. Extra key, why not? Like I said, hopefully we can get something decent from our shop. I'm hoping for... Really? That hit me? I don't even know what it was that hit me then. Was it the fire? Oh, well. Oh, it's the reflected shots. I always forget about that. Thank you, GMP. I always forget about the reflected shots. Get out of here, Sax. Pretty cool enemies there, to be honest. Sack of pennies is still giving us loads. Oh, god damn. I love the way these guys look like they're wearing, like, the gimp masks. We do have the, uh, the alternate parts of this floor. But that is still a little bit bugged, so I'm not going to bother with that quite yet. Oh, wow, I've never seen that attack before. That was cool. We're still kind of, like, just bouncing through these floors right now. Oh, God. He came in to slice. He came in to dice. But ultimately, he failed. Why can't I manage to hit these guys? Okay, there you go. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't really get what we wanted there at all. Remember, these guys are going to fire off the saw blades. Oh shit, there was still an enemy left. I was trying to get out the door, waiting for the death animation to finish. Turns out that's not what we're waiting for. Damn, we've lost quite a lot of health here. Okay, though. Remember to go to our item room on the way back up here. But this, yeah, this will be a first beast run in quite some time, actually. I spent it. It's gone. It's gone. Get over it. What are champions? Uh, I think we've got that curse, though, that causes more champions here. It looks like it. Friendly fat bat appears. What the hell hit me then? Oh. Oh. Okay. On use hold up a throw projectile. And... Let's have a look. See. Wait a minute. Um. Permanently charmed persist. It also attempts to Icarus style upgrade. If you miss the thrown projectile can be picked up like a card. Uh. I don't think that's going to be super useful for us, unfortunately. Slippy Teeth is decent. But just notice there, we got hit, and it returned us to the starting room. So if we can afford the HP, we can actually teleport and skip a lot of the rooms, which is kind of an interesting thing about this character here. I didn't really think about that. That's kind of cool, though. I'm really hoping we can get a little bit more health here. And I'm hoping that keeping our active here was uh, pretty good when it comes to uh, the boss fight, because I think against the beast, this active could be very strong, right? If I'm thinking about it correctly. Bollocks, yep. Yeah. But, <laughs> we get to shortcut, so... But we are losing health pretty rapidly, and sleeping in the bed isn't going to do anything for us either, so... I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. All the hosts. Beautiful. That's so much HP there. Wow. That is very, very good for us. There's a lot going on in this room. In fact, so much so that I'm just going to just do a little check and see if we can just... We can just skip it, so good to know. Oh, balls. Doesn't matter. We skipped it all anyways. 
I really like that with Icarus. That's 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 a very very useful little little sort of secret with Icarus that you can just skip rooms by getting hit. Obviously, you have to have the health to make it viable, but. Balls again! Oh my god. Didn't think I'd need to use it this much. Wow! This is crazy. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. That's a hard enemy. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm I probably going to die here. I got hit so much there. Wow. And I can't even... Like, I could sacrifice... Actually, do you know what? No. Let's sacrifice some health to upgrade my wings. Okay, no, I can't upgrade them any further because I've got the bed here anyways, so... But I got them at least one upgrade, which is going to give them one more level of lasting for us, but I'm not super confident here, especially getting that as a fucking item. God damn it. Eh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not I'm not overly confident in all of this. No thank you. <laughs> That's gonna be nice. Unfortunately it's gonna direct it back at him and not back at the uh TV. Isn't exactly what we want. Killing the TV pretty quick, though, by the looks of it. It's nice that that brimstone beam has a an indication marker now. There you go. That was a pretty quick kill on the first phase, actually. It's giving me a little bit more confidence. Oh, really? You had to go for this attack? <laughs> That's really cool. It's not, not super useful or practical to actually deal damage to him. But it's very cool. Oh, for fuck's sake. There should be a limit on how many times you can do this attack. Like, I've gotten very good at dodging it now. I'm not saying I won't get hit, but there's a, a very low chance now that I get hit by this. But it's just tedious. I can't really deal much damage to you while you're doing this. It's basically the tiniest little hits. And you do it so many times. You spin so many times and you can do it more than once a fight. It's just, ugh. Do some attacks I can actually deflect. Are you... Fucking kidding me. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I remember when I thought this attack was like absolutely impossible to dodge. How foolish I was. Basically, unless you don't do what I just did there, you're pretty much fine. I backed myself into a wall and that's how you get hit. Otherwise, can't, this guy's not too bad. Huzzah. We reflected things back at you and it worked out for us. Okay. One second. Right, let's continue onwards. Right. Let's see how this goes. I think our active's going to be pretty good here. It's going to protect us, definitely. Recharge is pretty quick as well. Some of them just fell out the air then, it's fine. Oh god. I do not like this attack. Oh, hello. That's a lot of ghosties for us there. Oh no, I lost my holy mantle so early as well. God damn, we really want to keep our stats. This guy doesn't fire Tuna projectiles, so he won't be super good with that, this active. But we can at least <laughs> deflect that. And we got all of them ghosts on him as well. Wow. Okay, it doesn't really work with those. Fair. I like the way that if he goes into his next form, it just stops the projectiles as they come to you, towards you. 
Yes, all the little ghosties, come on. They are valuable, they do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, they won't really stick around for the next boss, though. One of them might. Nah, sadly not. Sack of pennies keeps it going, though. Okay, I'm I was checking to see if it worked in the bombs. I would expect it didn't, and it didn't. No! I have now lost my, um, my extra stats. Oh, God. This attack. I hate this attack. That is really unfortunate. I don't know if it'll return the fires. I'm, I'm going to say no. But I, I should try. Oh, no, it does. The fires count as projectiles. Okay. Three hearts and a dream. Less stats than we started with. So it's not really looking so great here. But killing stuff should drop a uh, half bread heart. So we can maybe get something out of that. If we could kill stuff. Which is apparently not that likely. I thought I'd be killing the, those uh, sides a lot easier than that. Not the case, apparently. It has randomly poisoned a few of these skulls, though, despite them not being killable. Thanks for that game. I really like this attack. This attack's really cool looking. Oh, I do not like this attack, though. This attack scares me. Uh, 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 I want that heart. I want that heart. Yes, I got it. <laughs> no, there's another one. Fuck. Okay, on to the big dog. Onto the big cheese. Now this is going to be probably a little bit, a little bit more lengthy. This one, the music does kick the hell up though, which is always nice. It's actually going pretty quick, especially with those bombs at the start there. Unfortunately, no projectiles for us to uh, reflect back at him. Again, these fires might count. I don't know. They do. Good. They do They did reflect kind of the wrong way, though. Oh, no. He kind of sucked them all back in. Pretty valuable to know. Okay, back to the chase. I do wish the actual beast fight itself was a little better. It's good, but it, it just... It could do... Oh, wait. I just took a lot of damage. Damn. It could do to be a little better, I think. Th this bit especially. It's it's fun a few times, but it gets all quick. What's going on right now? No, thank you. I don't like the fact that there's still Salagmites here. I'm getting in my way. How was I meant to dodge that? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Unfortunate. That attack is one that I very rarely get to go uh, up against, so... Damn. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.